and welcome to another episode of Game on Onesies. I am Slasher Raptor, and this is Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2010. In the last episode, we were up in the Canadian Rockies, my home and native land, and I got a lot of golds, but then I also got a bronze and a silver. It's not like the Mission 4 where we got all gold, um, but now we're going to do Touching the Sky, the Alaskan Mountains, and I'm pretty sure I unlocked a crossbow, so I really want to use that. Because it's a fucking crossbow, and crossbows are always awesome. And I think I'll just keep my regular order rifle, because this one seems to be the best. And again, I'm going to keep the K&H Auto 12 gauge, because the Remington has less rounds in it. I think, it's, I think it's weird how I'm using a crossbow as my heavy rifle, when I don't think it would actually be that heavy. I don't know why you would need two rifles when you're going hunting. Okay, so, Alaskan Mountains. So I guess we were in Canada, and now we're still in the same general area. It's just we've we've probably gone through the territories, and now we're up in Alaska. All right, Jack. I got you online with HuntCom. Welcome to Alaska. You've got a busy day ahead of you. Five tags to collect, including brown bear. But before you can go after the big guy, you've got to prove your skills with doll sheep, blacktail, and caribou. Good luck, and watch out for that bear. He's got a serious attitude problem. Are there any bears that don't have a serious attitude problem? I mean, if you piss off a bear, it's gonna try and kill you, and then probably eat you. Why is there no snow? Ah, oh, yes, my crossbow! Oh! Oh, yes! This is gonna be fun. And this should be silent too, if I'm if I'm right. All right. Now where am I going? Ah, there it is. Doll sheep. 800, 700, 600. Got it. Okay. 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 Uh oh, there's something. Okay, this way. They want me this way. Can't wait to try up my crossbow. I'm so excited. I thought Alaska would be full of more snow. I mean, I know that there's not all snow. I think it's mostly the Northwest Territories and like Nunavut. Which actually used to be one big territory until about 20 years ago, and then they split it up into two separate territories. I know that the Yukon has actually got like a fairly civilized looking city. Like, I've seen pictures of, uh, of, of Yellowknife, and it, it looks like a regular city. Like, it, it doesn't look like it's got all the snow and stuff there. So I guess Alaska wouldn't be all the same. I think Siberia is what would really be full of nothing but just ice and snow and, like, relentless blowing winds and all that. Alright, I think they're over this way. Yeah, I can see them up there. Alright, so let's see. Where are the cover spots? Uh, let's see. Well, there's one there in the distance, but I don't see anyone close to me. That sound of running water is going to make me have to pee. Alright, where am I going? Okay, I'm, I'm in the- I'm right near the 10. So now, if I can see them and get a kill, then I should be okay. Alright, let's see. What is this? Female, female, don't want it. There's- I think there. Yeah, there's a male. I thought- there he is. But I don't think I can get him from here. No, I'm not even going to get a medal from that. There has to be another cover spot around here somewhere. I don't see any. Like, uh, usually that you can see all the other cover spots. Do I maybe have to go up that ridge? Can I even go up that ridge? If I go up that ridge, are they going to like detect me and then I'd fail the mission? Alright, let's see what's around here. Oh, there's some tracks. I can get some points for that. There's no debris in these tracks. They must be fresh. Well, yeah, the animals are right over there. Um, let's see here. What do I want to be doing? Oh, there's another one. I see another one. Okay, let's go to this cover, and then this should be good. Assuming that I can get a good shot on one of the males. No, that's a female. Female? No. Where's that male? Where'd he go? 
I don't know if you would call the male of a of a of a, a goat a buck. I think that's for like deer. But usually you want the one that actually has big horns. I guess you don't go after the females because they're the ones that make more things, and if you go after the females, then there's going to be less of a chance of them repopulating themselves or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a hunter at all. Zombrit would actually know a bit more about this stuff. Oh, there he is. Okay, but I don't think I can get... Well, there was a bronze. Is there a way I can get a silver from him? No, don't go away! Yeah. Why do they always hide behind rocks? Is he going to po pock his head out over here? Pock. What the hell is a pock? You ever try and say something and then it ends up like getting transformed into a different word? Like, I was obviously trying to say poke. And then I think I also tried to say pop. So it became pock. <laughs> I don't think he's going to pop his... There, see I did it that time. Pop his head out. I got my crossbow. There he is. Okay, let's... No, that's the female. There he is. That's that's the male, isn't it? He's right there. Nope. Oh, come on. Females, get out of the way. I can see him. He's right there. Oh, he's going behind the rock again. Damn it. Stupid females. Alright, let's see. Maybe there's another cover spot I can get to. Because if these females are going to just keep getting in my way, I'm never going to get a shot in here. I want to see if I can get them. They don't seem to know that I'm here, but now the issue becomes, is, is it going to poke its head out long enough for me to get a good shot at it? Oh, well, there he's coming back. Okay, I want to get at least the silver if I can. Where, where can I go for it? I'm just going to go for it. Get a bronze, it's fine. Poof! Oh, this crossbow's awesome. Oh, it was a heart shot too. Silent Hunter! Yes! Yes, I am! Silent but deadly! Not bad. I could do better than that. No, I couldn't actually, because the, no matter where I aimed, it was not giving me better points than that. Alright, so what's next? Oh, it's down there. Okay. So basically, I just have to go back where I came from. Fantastic. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I have started with this one and then gone up the hill to do that one? Those footstep sounds are kind of obnoxious. Really unnecessary. This game feels like it wants to be Call of Duty so much, but it it really isn't because. It's kind of bad. Well, I mean, it's not a bad game. It's just it, it's 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 a bad. It, it's doing a bad job of trying to be Call of Duty. Oh, they see me, or they, at least they hear me. Are these are these reeds making noises? Okay, I so far so good. I think I'm okay. Where are they? I don't. Oh, there they are, right there through the clearing. All these pretty flowers, flowers, flowers. Okay. So that's where they want me. And it looks like the cover signs are all behind them. Fantastic. Okay, so let's see if I can really carefully creep over here through these pretty pink flowers and make my way over to one of the cover signs, or cover spots, rather, without alerting my presence to these critters. Oh! It turned red. Okay. Just keep going about your business. I'm a figment of your imagination. There is not a man with a crossbow creeping through. I am not a threat to you. You're just hearing things because you're paranoid and skittish animals. Oh, come on. Is it really just going to do that with every step I take? Come on. Why do they hear me? They're getting spooked. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in sneak mode. Why are they hearing me? Okay. I just got to go... I, little bit more Down. then I can probably make it to the cover spot okay I think they're just really paranoid alright it's not turning red anymore so I think I'm probably good 
And then I know that as soon as I'm crouched in the cover spot, they can't see me at all. Oh, was was I walking on? No, I can't have been. I was walking through the flowers. Nice cover. Well, yeah, it's nice cover, except I can't see diddly squat. Okay, there they are. They can still see me. Like, look, what is this? All right, all right. Oh, silver, silver, bronze, silver. Come on, go to gold. Go to gold. I want a gold medal. Come on. And take my shots and... Oh, there we go. Come on. It flashed to silver the last second. Maybe I shot right in time, though. I think it's probably just going to be a silver. But we'll, we'll see. Okay. Gotcha! A Blacktail Sitka! What the hell is a Sitka? I don't know what the difference between all these different things are. They all just look like deer to me. Silver metal. All right, track and hunt blacktail. Si I just did blacktail Sitka, or is that what it was supposed to tell me earlier? Are we literally are we literally doing the same animal twice? Careful. Or did it? Oh, what? Are they right over there? Seriously? Oh my god, they're right there. So maybe are those the ones that were seeing me the first the, the first time? Because if there are animals right over here, and I was hunting some of the other ones, am I hunting the same animal twice? Maybe those are the ones that were seeing me when I was trying to sneak up on the other ones. I don't know. That's weird. Okay, he needs to come closer or I need to get closer because I'm not going to get any metal for that. You guys remember Medal of Honor? I don't. <laughs> but apparently it was actually the very first one. It's not a ripoff of Call of Duty. Call of Duty is a ripoff of Medal of Honor. Did you know that Steven Spielberg was involved in the creation of that of, of that very first Medal of Honor game? Zombret likes some of the Medal of Honor games. I don't know if he would like prefer to play them over. Call of Duty, because I don't know if there's, like, an online thing, but it was the original first-person shooter war game. Come on, come closer. Don't lie down. If you lie down, I can't shoot you in your vital organs. <sighs> Damn it. I'm frustrated. Oh, that one's an even worse shot. There is two males, though. So either I need to get closer, or they need to come closer to me so I can shoot them in the vital organs and get good points for it. Come on. Give me a medal or something. Okay, now it's a medal. And let's see if I can get him. I like how you can see the little uh, the little notches on the crossbow bolt spinning. That's a nice touch. Adds to the effect of the slow motion. Okay. I like how the body just kind of disappears into thin air. Not sure where I'm putting it or what I'm doing with it or how I was able to dispose of it so quickly. What? But I, I saw it say that was it was going to be a bronze. A caribou. Now we have caribous on our um, on our quarters in Canada. Now we have uh, we have a caribou on one side, and then we've got the queen on the other side. So it's actually weird because when you're playing heads or tails with a quarter, you can't really say heads or tails because both of them are heads. I mean, the caribou has a tail. But you don't see its tail, you see its head. So it's like heads and heads. But we usually just ignore that. Uh oh, this doesn't look safe. Uh oh. This is gonna fall, I can tell you right now. See, I told you. So obvious. Wow, that was an impressive jump. Like, he started at the very far end of that. Oh, it's gonna make me do this again. Seriously? Quick time events do not belong in a Cabela's hunting game. Not even Call of Duty has this many quick time events. Well, uh, at least it, it, they started to. You know, as in... Press X to pay your respects. 
Or, no, it was actually hold X to pay your respects, wasn't it? But that was one of the ones that I never actually played. I just, I think, I think Zomberg bought that, and I was laughing when he was playing it because it was so, so bad. And it was funny because they, they were touting in the trailer, and it's going to have Kevin Spacey as, like, playing, playing a pivotal role. But it was actually just Kevin Spacey in the game because they even used his likeness, so it was basically just Kevin Spacey. I remember when he used to play like nothing but bad guys, and he did. He was really good. I remember Bugs Life. He did the voice of Hopper, and damn, did he make him sound evil. And it was just kind of like a thing. It's like, so who's playing the villain in your movie? Kevin Spacey? Yep. As a matter of fact, he is. <laughs> Thirsty. It was me sipping a sip of my water. Now, where are these other animals? I kind of just zoned out there after I got across the log. Okay, there they are. So it looks like I'm going to have to go across this river. I'm so slow when I'm crouched, but I probably shouldn't uncrouch because they might hear me. Crouch. It's a fun word. Wasn't that, wasn't that one of the Muppets on Sesame Street? Oscar the Crouch? No, that was actually Oscar the Grouch. And he lived in the garbage can. Best house ever. I guess I'd be pretty grouchy too if I lived in a <laughs> garbage can, though. Ah, that's a female. I don't want that. What else is there around here? Yeah. There has to be a male. It's interesting. I don't. I don't remember too much about the um, the Canada level, but I don't think we hunted caribou in the Canada level, which is interesting, because that's kind of our thing. But they uh, they haven't been Alaska apparently. That seems like a really small crossbow. Guess that doesn't really matter. Like, when you compare it to the crossbows Joffrey had on Game of Thrones, that looks really small. Which is why it's funny that that's my heavy gun. Ah, gold medal right here. I can get this one. I can get him. I can get him. Boom! Ya done, son! Ya done! Lung shot. Beautiful. So, let's see. So far, I've gotten a bronze medal, a silver medal, a gold medal, and then I did one where I didn't get any medal. I like that. I got 101 points for my cover bonus. Uh-oh. The grizzly bear. You know what? I think it's shotgun time. I wonder if it's possible to actually shoot them with, like... Like, like the very first time you run into a grizzly was in, like, that first level. No, it was... No, it was a mountain lion, I think, actually, but... Um, you, like, I, I think it was a scripted event, and it wasn't meant for you to actually hunt it. So I wonder if you can hunt it this time, or if it's just going to attack us again. Uh-oh. I think it's just going to attack us again. But I'm ready for it this time. All right, grizzly bear. You think you're tough? Come on, I got some shotgun for you. Come on, Yogi, let's do this. Boom! Oh, no, get off me! Get off me! Gun is not fruit. Get off me, you... Bitch! Take this! Yeah! What you gonna do, huh? You're not so tough. I just took down a freaking grizzly bear. Not a scratch on me. Let's see my gold medal. Alright, let's see my gold medal. Come on, give it to me. Give it! Are you effing kidding me? A bronze medal? I just took that... I just took out a grizzly bear and they gave me a bronze medal. Alright, well anyway folks, that's all the time I have for this episode of Game on Onesies. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future where we will continue to play some other games. And until next time, peace out and as always, game on. See ya!